Good evening, everyone. I'm meteorologist Terry Swales, and some very warm weather is on its way to the Midwest. And tomorrow we will see the warmest temperatures of the year and potentially record high temperatures in some locations, at least very close to that. Let's take you to our future track here. And tonight, one of the things we'll be watching is a warm front. And at 9 o'clock, that should be stretched out just to the south of the Quad Cities. And there may be some isolated showers and thunderstorms developing after sunset as the low-level jet stream kicks in here. That's a typical feature after dark. And that could generate these showers and storms that would primarily occur along and north of Interstate 80. So we'll put a little chance in there during the nighttime hours, especially in the north. And I think by the time we get to tomorrow morning, a lot of those will have faded away and the warm front should be right on top of the Quad Cities. Then as we go through the morning tomorrow, that continues to move up into Wisconsin. And by afternoon, we're going into sunshine. We'll have a nice south wind up there at 25 miles per hour, and that'll send the temperatures well into the 80s, possibly as warm as 86 or 87 in the Quad Cities. The record high is 88 tomorrow, and that was set in 1965. We should give that a good run. There'll also be a little humidity in the air, too, so a much more summer-like feel to the air around eastern Iowa and western Illinois. With that in mind, tonight's forecast does call for mostly cloudy skies and a chance of a shower or thunderstorm, especially later on in primarily north of Interstate 80, 58, the low temperature. And for tomorrow then, becoming mostly sunny by the afternoon and warm, a near record high of possibility, and we'll see if we can't get it to 87 degrees.